Hello Beauty News family, welcome back to another Beauty Breakdown. Uh, so this is a series where we take a closer look at particular products. Today we have a little selection from the Lush Valentine's Day 2018 collection. Uh, we'll be taking a look at the products found in the Lots of Love gift pack. We're going to start with the bath bombs. So first up we have the Rose Bombshell. This is a rose triple threat, basically. So there's rose absolute and rose oil plus rose petals. And it definitely smells like rose. A bit like rose argan. Yeah, it's like this is a hardcore rose scent. Yeah, yeah. And inside there's meant to be rose petals. Also to clarify, this is quite warm water. This is actually hot. Yeah, it's hot water. plenty of it oh Jesus Ooh. that looks bizarre oh that's crazy whoa so there's a lot of rose there are dried a rose lot petals of rose in, there. in there we just gotta wait for it to come out oh it's nice it's, it's not oily but it feels sort of creamy bath bomb in the pack is the sex bomb and this one is a blend of jasmine ylang lang and clary sage I actually really love like slimy textures so for me it's really fun but if that was floating in your tub and it like brushed up against your leg <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know what it was yeah you might be a bit creeped out the scent that it gives off in the water is really true to the bath bomb as well it's um very uh, like strong floral scent so this one uh it's not as sort of doesn't have as much oils in it or creaminess but it is a it's a fun bath bomb it's just a lot of fizz yeah a lot of pink and purple pretty color nice smell interesting petal bits mm -hmm. moving on to bubble bars we've got the unicorn horn bubble bar this is a luster filled Lavender, Ylang Lang, and Neroli Bar. This has a strong scent of lavender. That one's really easy to crumble, and I love how that's multicolored. Like a rainbow in there. Whoa, Whoa. it's so neon. Little nuggets. You know what? I really like this. I like the theme of this. I like the neon colours. Yeah, I like how fun this is to play with. I think this is great. Everything's so pink. The water bubbles really easily and it feels soft. Feels really nice and soft on the skin. There is silver luster sparkles in there as well. Our next bubble bar is the creamy candy bubble bar and this one smells like candy floss or snow fairy basically. This one is more moisturizing than your average bubble bar because it contains a combination of cocoa and almond butters and oils. Chunks? Chunks in it. So that's going to be like the... Body butter? Yeah, because this is meant to be... Um, more hydrating for the skin. Do we want to pull the flower out? Yes, please. Yes, please. So there it is. I wonder if that's made up of um, sugar. Sugar. I want to bite it, but we won't do that. It smells like snow fairy. Straight up. Undeniable. We can't, know that scent. Yeah. Can't, can't trick us. Can't trick us. Oh my god, where's the flower gone? 
It's gone. It really is. It's gone. The color of that water is so neon. Isn't like it beautiful? It's really bright and milky. Yeah. So it really stands out. And this does feel really good on the skin. I just want to dry my hand because that's a real test. Yeah. That feels... It, I can feel that that's conditioning. You can see the beads of oil. You can see oil. the beads of oil, yeah. That's a nice one though. If you like if you're craving Snow Fairy and you've got dry skin going on, pick up one of these and have a bubble bath. And it makes your skin smell the same yeah. as well. The next product we have is the Heart of Enlightened Expectations. This is a bubble bar melt. So it's a hybrid between a bubble bar and a bath melt. This one contains geranium, jasmine, and rose. And it smells white floral. The jasmine in this one comes through. And it's the first orange oh, we've experienced in it this It is. Video. Everything's been pink. Oh, that melty bit. Can I feel it? Yes. Touch it. Ooh, it's like butter. Yeah. It does have like that strong floral scent, um, white florals. So if you like white florals, you probably like this one. Plus it does have that bath melt in there. So there is like surface oils, soft on the skin. You can see them. Yeah. Up. Nice and bubbly. We have a bar of soap here. This is the Tunnel of Love. Uh, this one contains rose water, sweet wild orange oils, and lime. Before I get into this, I want to point out just how squishy this center part is. So I'm concerned once it goes into the water that it's going to completely disintegrate. So pray. Yeah, but it is supposed to be a hydrating it is. pocket. So yeah. like body oil so we'll see yeah but I think this one would be best kept out of um, an excessively wet environment to maintain that love heart in the center so it's got a really milky sort of soft foam so it's definitely gonna be a hydrating soap which is nice. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't all need like a really stripping soap. And this might be nice as a hand soap as well. Keep it out of Very the shower. Very true, actually. That's a good point. We have a naked shower cream here. This is a little 60 gram um, bar. This one contains jasmine and ylang ylang. I reckon this smells like a sponge cake when you, just as you pull it out of the oven. Yeah, this is really beautiful. Yeah, I was so excited. It's like a to pastry or something yeah. really soft but sweet. And yeah, delicious. I, I'm keen on that one. So this one is similar to a soap, but it has a shower gel formulation. sort of formulation. Yeah, um, but it's also in the sh shower cream formula so it's meant to be a little bit more hydrating than Richer. the um, standard shower gels and that one does get that sort of really rich um, creamy leather similar to a shower cream so if you're familiar with the lush shower creams it's literally that in a solid there is a body scrub and hair scrub in this pack this is Rub 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 and it contains floral, jasmine, sea salt and fresh lemon juice. The colour of this triggers me and makes me think of like blue Jolly Ranchers or blueberry or something. But Kat's like, no, no, that's a floral. <laughs> it's floral. Lots of scrubby particles, but they're fairly small. So it's not like you're being scratched. It's like you're being scrubbed, if that makes sense. I really, oh my God, that smells so good. Mm-hmm. It smells really good. The scrubby bits in it, they don't dissolve really quickly, yeah. which is important. So it is a lot finer than the big sea salt shampoo. So this would be real, like a good consistency for a clarifying shampoo or a, like a shampoo scrub as yeah, well. Yeah, so because it's not gonna, hair. those bits aren't going to get stuck in your hair. Oh. And, oh, hello. Oh, that's interesting. Feel my hand. Oh, it's I like know. it's got a mucus like Yeah. I'm not sure what's up with that. That's cool. But look at how much that foams now. Yeah. That's interesting. And that'd be good in your hair. Yeah. That'd be so good. Oh, 
And the last product in this pack is a little tub of Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This one is supposed to contain rose and geranium along with argan oil to really hydrate the skin. So if you are familiar with uh, this, it is a Lush Classic. It is a beautiful body conditioner that you use after you, um, you know, use a shower gel or something in the shower. And it almost smells like a rose custard. Yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I like to compare it to if you had a shower and then while you're still wet, you applied a small amount of like a body like lotion. Like a really light yeah. body lotion. Yeah. yeah. So you're not left feeling Greasy. sticky, oily, tacky. It's just like moisturized. Moisturized. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for us today. We hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of the Lush Lots of Love gift box for Valentine's Day. 2018. If you did, give it a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.